So this microphone and this app that I'm using to record this video absolutely changes the vlogging game. Right, so we are vlogging on the iPhone 12. Front facing camera, not the main camera, this is just the front facing camera with the Smart Mic Plus. So hopefully it sounds pretty good. So we're gonna talk about a few things in this video, the microphone, the app that you can download without buying this microphone and I would fully recommend it because it's incredible. For phone vlogging, for phone creators, for people that are using their phones to record video like this, I would recommend this app over anything. It's brilliant and it changes the game for me anyway. Vlogging's, uh, vlogging for me anyway is a weird one. My favorite YouTuber at the moment, of perhaps of all time, top 10, definitely. No, top five. He's one of the ones that I watch 90% of the time. Camera conspiracies. He goes out vlogging, testing these different cameras and he just doesn't give a crap. He's out vlogging like this around towns, around supermarkets. He doesn't care. And me, I have to find places like this <laughs> where there is nobody within a five mile radius. Because I just can't get over the fact that it's embarrassing. It looks a bit silly. People are going to notice you. People are going to look at you. And I just don't like that quite frankly. I want to. I want to be better at it and I think for me there's two devices that I'd use for vlogging if I was going to do it on a regular basis. One would be the GoPro. GoPro is brilliant for vlogging because it's small, it's inconspicuous, you can attach a microphone to it to make the sound better and it looks good, the stabilisation is amazing. But on par with the GoPro is this, the iPhone 12 picture is debatably equally as good the stabilization is debatably equally as good and maybe that's a video i should do so yeah those two cameras this phone and the gopro 9 are less inconspicuous easier to use if you're using the phone it just looks like you're facetiming although i've got this sort of microphone setup and the tripod setup at the moment so it's not as obvious as using a big Canon M50 with a microphone on the top or a Canon R6 on a tripod and it just looks less stupid. The microphone. Smart Mic Plus, it's a wireless microphone system that only at the moment works with the Smart Mic app. You can't use the normal iPhone app to record, it just won't work. It's software based problem. Um, Apple, no doubt, are stopping it from being used as an external microphone. So you have to use a mic fly on my phone it sounds pretty good i've got to be honest you can buy two of these microphones connect them so one's a transmitter one's a receiver and you can use it with dslrs gopros as well so you can do that but this is where it works best it comes with this dead cat it comes with a smaller dead cat it's usb c charging it's very very good i do like it the audio is very good when connected to the phone you could use an external microphone, but that's something else added on top of the phone, connected by a lightning adapter, because it's not 3.5 millimeter jack in the iPhone. So you have to mess about with all that. So this is the best option for me. And I do really think it is a fantastic sounding microphone. If you do want to purchase one of these, the link is in the description. I must say they're not cheap. They're about 120 pounds here in the UK, $130 ish. You can get two, for 200 and if you're gonna invest in something like this i'd buy the two gives you that versatility of being able to use it with multiple devices the app the app is where the magic happens for me there's a few things in this app that make it really really good and make it stand out for vlogging in general it's just a different kind of app it's very good very easy to use the first thing i need to mention which i didn't mention in the review of this microphone in the first place is you can actually adjust the microphone manually there's a pro mode where you go into the menu you can adjust the gain up and down in fact i've turned off the noise cancellation which it comes built in it's a smart noise cancellation software which is built into the microphone and it sort of helps that background noise but i've turned that off because i just find it sounds pretty clean anyway 
you can adjust the gain up and down and there's other things in that pro menu that you can change and customize this microphone to how you want it to sound left we'll go left no walking oh. the bike trial secondly it's actually got a built-in teleprompter anybody that uses a script youtubers tiktokers even if you're using this for uh, lecturing purposes teaching purposes it's got a built-in teleprompter and that's really good you can pay upwards of 20 pounds for a decent teleprop teleprompter app um, and this one comes built in with this app and the app is free um, there's filters obviously like in most apps these days I wouldn't recommend any of those I don't like any kind of skin smoothing or stuff like that just just no point I like the nice natural color and the iPhone does produce a decent looking image so keep it that way but this next feature makes this app stand out from the crowd and for me is going to change the way I vlog we'll do some experimenting with it fly go so here's the first picture in picture mode this is something you'd be familiar with like if you're watching YouTube and you flick the screen to the side this is cool because you can not only see me you can see where I'm walking now I'm walking up this path up there but not only have we got this picture in picture mode we've got a side by side mode as well side by side mode this is probably a bit better if you're going to do this kind of content rather than having a small picture in picture I like this you can see me you can see where I'm going if I keep it steady it looks pretty good now how cool is that <laughs> is it just me or is it something that nobody's going to use I think it's wicked I could really do some different creative vlogs with this I think it's I think it's pretty awesome that is the microphone paired with the app I really do think it's a, an amazing combination for vlogging like this if you're out exploring if you're a vlogger this is it's light I'm using the Lanzi tripod the phone is light it's just in a normal case the microphone yeah it's clipped on you it should be clipped the other way but I'm wearing a t-shirt and I realized that I wasn't wearing a button one before we left the house but nevertheless it still sounds pretty good there's a few features about this microphone that I'm going to talk about in a different video proper ways to use it um, I've seen a lot of bad YouTube videos on the internet explaining how to use this microphone and a lot of the information is wrong so I'm gonna do which way I'm gonna do a proper follow-up video on this microphone the top five features that it features and how to use it properly so yeah like I said before stay tuned for that video coming soon okay so to summarize in my eyes it's a perfect combination sure it's not perfect I know that there are better phones out there with bigger sensors you could use the front facing camera but I like to be able to see myself on the screen there's ways to do that as well without with using the main camera but 1080p on the front facing camera is more than enough for YouTube and vlogging the microphone the microphone is not perfect but for using it with a phone it is if that makes sense it's not the best thing for using as a wireless transmitter in my testing but anyway this app this microphone together for me the way I want to vlog is brilliant so that's it for this video thanks for watching I'm off to try and find my car because I don't know where it is if you've made it this far though check out the podcast me and Danny Black from Australia doing a tech podcast it's lots of fun we've got a good community over there we've got more listeners on pot on Spotify and on Apple music than we have subscribers at the moment but it's growing we're on look at that. it's growing we're on 300 and 12 subscribers which is pretty good seems that we've only done about 40 episodes so new episode coming this week we have a lot of fun we talk about tech of course but we also dive into what it's like creating stuff on YouTube and the struggles that small youtubers have um, so yeah check it out of there it's a lot of fun um, and we appreciate all the support brilliant community of avid listeners and avid followers over there and if you want to be part of a tight-knit community you've got to join you've got to subscribe so go and check it out I'll leave a link down below okay that's enough rambling. I'll see you on the next video.